guys. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, today's actually Valentine's Day. Um, I'm getting everything ready. We're actually, me and Katie's going to head to the shop. Um, kind of rearrange the uh, office around a little bit. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm a, I love Superman. Big fan of Superman. I uh, always said the S stand for Sparks. Um, but got to have the American one, of course. Uh, but we did move the office around a little bit. Um, still working on some stuff. Uh, if you see up here, I actually have a lot of the drawings. I've got to get a couple more... Uh, um, picture frames to uh, to put some of the drawings in but we are getting everything set up of course I got the TV but watching uh, uh, Hoonigan got like that stuff usually uh, while I'm like recording or something I'll have something it'll be on mute but I'll be watching something in like the uh, the background or something like that because you know it kind of breaks the monotony of like being in an office all day recording or something but we are getting ready let me put that on mute getting ready to head out um, to the shop uh, for Valentine's Day I actually got my mom a couple of different things uh, I had a bunch of pictures of her and dad uh, on my phone so I went and got some of these and putting them in a frame and everything for her. This is like our last vacation when we went to the beach. Uh, then of course my father loved uh, riding the Razor. He's actually, when I first got the Razor, it was like pouring rain. I mean, it was like bad uh, as soon as I brought it home. And uh, I was like, I really want to go for a ride. He's like, let's go. I'm like, you know, it's pouring rain. It's probably going to get worse. He's like, I don't care. We went, we was drenched, but he like loved every bit of it. But uh. We're going to head to the shop today. I don't really know what we're going to get into. Um, probably, I don't know. I really won't work on the Razor, but I might work on the first gen. Um, I've got, I got, went and bought some uh, bed liner so we can bed liner the, um, the vents for the grill and around the headlights so we can fix those. And I've got the, uh, the tent so we can tent the um, uh, signal lights. So hopefully they turn out pretty good. Um, I had a comment if I could find it. All right, so uh, I found it. It was on Instagram. Um, it's by Walking Mud Holes. He uh, messaged me uh, and said, just saw your grill vid. You're supposed to be able to spray some deep woods off on a rag and wipe them plastic lenses and it'll make it clear again for a while. Um, I'm going to try that. Like, because right now, you know, I am going to put different headlights in uh, the, the Cummins, but it's like I'm not taking them right, I'm not ordering it and putting them right in or out. So that's why I said, you know, it's like it'll be a little bit, but I, do, I hate they look so fog. So I am going to try this. So if it works, thank you. If not, it, it, it happens. I've tried to paste everything uh, before on my, uh, on uh, the Super Ram when I had my old style headlights. And I think two paste really, it might help just a little bit, but not a lot. But I am going to try this. So thank you for the uh, suggestion. Like I said, I always, I always try to read everything, but a lot of times it just, I, I, I get blew up of messages and it's hard for me to actually, you know, read everything. But I will definitely try that. So thank you. And also thank you to all of them who's been following me on Instagram, gsparks11. We've gotten a lot of follow uh, followers lately, uh, so you know Instagram is where I post a lot of my just like daily stuff, like small little videos or pictures or stuff like that. So that's what I do there. So make sure to follow me on there. Um, anyways, guys, the Cummins is running. I went and started it up and everything just because somebody went by an SRT4 and was like revving up and stuff, and I heard it was an island and I was like, time to let some bald eagles out. So I went and started Cummins lit up too. Uh, I don't know, apparently, like, I guess we're about trucks loud. Everybody that goes by our, uh, our place now kind of gets on it. So when I go out through, like, the the road and I see where everybody, in the car I did it, I'll just get on mine. I guess it's like, someone's like, hey, and I'm like, hey, in exhaust form. Anyways, let's get ready and hit the road. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to head out. Um, I actually brought my shifter. Now, I've had a lot of people ask me about, oh, when are you going to do your simulator? I'm actually going to take it and do a little measurements. I've got to build a little console because I want to put it between mine and her chair when we do it. And that way, but I'm building it kind of like a, a big rig style because that's really what we'll be playing. Um, you know, when I do play uh, like uh, Forza and stuff, I'll just have to get used to being like the long uh, shift because I am going to add a little bit of extra to it. And I've got my bed liner and lens tent and she's in there. So we're going to get ready and let's head out. Ready to roll? Yep. Look like you're cold. It feels good out here, actually. It does. Well, what is it? 46? Yeah. This be Must around be 56 happy. today, yeah.
I always see road work, but the roads are always crappy, but there's always road work going. Hmm. Somebody's tax money is not going in the right place. And somebody blew their sign over back there. I just said uh, right after we left the house, like there was a sign. It was like ha almost halfway in the middle of the road. So I was like, yeah, so it's probably a big truck or something because there's a lot of logging trucks and stuff that come down through here. It probably just took it out. I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, guys, we are back at the shop. I I'm telling you, it's like as soon as I pull up in, the driveway here, it's like a totally different world. I love being like kind of out in the country type deal. Still close to stuff, but kind of out by, your, by to yourself. I mean, you could be at the trail in less than two minutes and everything. Can't wait to move back up here. Like I can't wait. And when I move back up here, uh, the vlogs are probably even more because I can come out every day. Because right now I have to come up on certain days because I have to still film game videos. And plus, can't be traveling every day just to, you know, do that video and then gaming and everything. And... I like to spend time and everything. But we are up here, we're gonna do some work. What should we work on? Um, black trick. First gen. First. You heard it then, we're doing first gen. We need to still put the spacers on it and fix the grill and everything. So, we'll probably do the spacers, that way we can at least drive it and stuff. Plus I can actually use the impact now, it's gonna be a lot easier. What are those? Tell me it's cold and she's got flip flops on. Yeah. They're gone. Big foot fell off, broke, hit my truck, scuffed my light, and I think that dent was already there, but that wasn't there. They're gone. We're gonna have to fix them. Oh, his arm came off. We have a, and a one eye, foot. one arm. Wait, no, one arm. What is that? Tip of foot. God, his foot fell off, dude. <laughs> what to fix that? My dad did that a long time ago. You can kind of look. <laughs> it's like, I, this is, a, Bigfoot is down, but we have the, go, the, the Shannon, ghost stuff. Bigfoot. Haven't started this in uh, a couple of days, actually. I think the last time was when I backed it in with the spacers. Uh, it's been a while since I backed it in. So we're going to pull it out. Um, I got my Bigfoot on there. Uh, all of it. And we're going to take the back wheels off and tighten up those again. Put the wheels back on, tighten those, put the spacers on the front. And I might actually paint the grill and stuff, inserts and stuff. So hopefully we get a lot done today. It's already 2.30, so we are a little bit behind on schedule, but really don't have anything planned today, so hopefully we get it going. This is what uh, I got that lens tent for the front and then just uh, some truck bay line. Believe it or not, that's a second gen Dodge right there. Um, but uh, we're going, I'm letting the truck just warm up a little bit. We haven't really uh, gotten to drive it yet. And of course it's still mud everywhere. <laughs> but um, we're gonna back this over there because we have a little uh, pavement spot. Grill's holding up by the way. That's pretty good. But that's what the guy was talking about spraying the off and stuff so next time we go to walmart i'm actually gonna get some because i don't think we have any because well it's winter time and all that stuff we get thrown away but i'm gonna try that definitely um hopefully it works but let's go ahead and put this over here so we can uh bring everything out i'm thinking the front's gonna look really good too well go ahead and grab it will you stop go ahead and grab no. it no you want to grab it no okay it's dead i don't care what if I put it on you? You better not. 
Stop! <laughs> Stop! You're not. Woo! Woo! Stop! Oh. You're not gonna give me fly. Stop! You better quit. Stop! No, 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 It's cool. Oh, look at that! Don't! Come on! Let the. <laughs> oh! It's on your jacket. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You better freaking get it off. It's on your jacket. Get it off. It's on your jacket. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what I'm, what we're doing now? I actually didn't have the right. I was using an impact socket, and I was hoping that it would actually. Oh, because my cousin's coming. That actually hurt hearing that like start up every day. He's got a straight pipe too. It's a twelve valve maybe want to come in so much even more i'm like oh, i just love the sound oh look mama peeking around anyways uh what we're doing is i have her scotch writing the uh grill inserts and that way it'll the uh bed liner will have something to adhere to and we'll be good there um i actually i'm over here at my workbench is a mess but when is it not um this summer hopefully um I'm cleaning this off really good. Now it does have some stress cracks, but it's on the inside. That's actually on the outside. So this is actually when you cover it. I've got the lens spray, which is actually in the truck. We're going to spray these with lens tint, and all that should be black, and it should look pretty good. I'm hoping it's coming out real good. We're going to clean it off real good. Um, one of them, not this one, but this one, I think. Yeah maybe has it's got a little like hole there and i don't know if it's for the water to drip out of whatever but one of them had a spot on it yeah this one right here a spot here i actually thought about just taking some hot glue and just putting over it because hot glue kind of works as kind of like a sil uh, like a silicone like a rubber silicone really good for like waterproofing some stuff sometimes trust me done it before um so that's uh basically what we're gonna do is spray that now i have been sending if make sure you follow me on instagram i do like a million like different things like g sparks 11 follow me um you'll see a little bit of a, a progress i'm making um we are getting it a little bit sanded um we got some more you know low spots we got to get in everything um right here and a lot of the holes and everything but i gotta i'm going i'm not going to spray it with the uh, like bed coat bed coat liner you get like a walmart i'm actually probably going to order like uh, a can of a, a raptor x now that's supposed to be the actual like good stuff that way actually it will give it some strength and it'll just look really good too uh another thing is going to be kind of hard to clean don't clean it with like a microfiber cloth whatever because that stuff will stick to it but that's kind of the ordeal for that and i still gotta get some speakers and stuff on it but i am you know working on this back into you know on the back burner but we are getting it uh, i just want to get the grill done and once i get the right socket i'll have to go to advanced get because that's where i got the things from raw zone we'll uh, actually be able to uh um put the front wheel spacers on should be good to go and then of course the rear tail lights i'm gonna order some of those because airs is busted real bad i'm gonna tint them we'll black them out um but i think we're it's coming along nicely um i've had a lot of comments asking you know when i'm gonna finish it because i switched back to four for different projects and stuff use it you know that way it's not just one truck all the time but believe it or not most of y'all like the first gen more than the cummins and that was a shocker because i figured like the cummins would have been like the star of the show and everybody loves this uh the first gen and colossus super amp and of course brutus the cummins but it seems like first gen has like taken the star of like the show of like projects and stuff which is i'm, I'm really happy because you know that's like that's my baby they're all my babies i need a bigger garage so i can just stash them all in there that way i don't have to worry about them being outside how's it going it's going okay oh she's getting dirty she's working so what else we got how many more you got? Three. You only did one? Yeah. Wow. Um, slow work, aren't we? Oh, don't do it like that. Do it in a square pattern motion. No. Square. No, circular. You're doing it wrong. It's not going to stick. What's it matter? I'm joking. I'm joking. God, wait. <laughs> Y'all see what I deal with? Whoa. <laughs> She's evil. I'm not. Evil! We're going to uh, spray this on and not touch it because I actually have to do some work outside. So when we spray, she are you done with the other ones? Yeah. 
All right, so after we spray this, we'll take the grill vents outside and spray. Probably around here or something, because I don't want to get it on the crane grill. Though, uh, that bed liner spray dries really quick, and this should dry decent. If not, we'll have to uh, uh, let it dry overnight, and then we'll put them in. But I think it will be dry. And also, i got to work on the light bezel. I'm just going to fix that, because this right here is a $50, basically, just a little quick fix. Um, and the light bells is probably about a $30 or $40 fix. So, I mean, that's, we're saving about 82 might as well say $80 to $100. Cause I don't know how exactly how much it is, but it was in the 50s and stuff. So, saving around $100 just by doing this right here. So, that's not, that's not bad at all. So, let's go ahead and get to it. All right. Hopefully, you can see me. Is lighting good? Better. Okay, better. <laughs> all right. So, we're going to go ahead and put this on. Um. Uh, now, the more you put on, the uh, darker it gets. So, I would like to have it pretty well blacked out. Um, I'm going to put an LED signal light bulb in. Kind of, I actually have one up there. If they actually fit, I might put them in. Um, but we'll put an LED signal light bulb so it'll be a little bit brighter when it turns. So, let's do it. There's probably a million different ways you can do this, but as you see, it already did give it a little bit a darker tint to it. Um, believe it or not, I actually like it like that. It's just that nice little smoked look. Um, this one has the crack, uh, the inner cracks in it, so if we can't see the inner cracks, we might just do the just the easy smoke look. Huh, look at that. It's even a holder. All right, we got this one good to go. Alright, so this one has a little cracks in it, so that's kind of what I'm worried about. <laughs> Don't want to get it on our chair. Alright, then we'll do this. Alright, so you really can't see the cracks that much. It actually darks it much, much more. I'm going to let it dry and stick them out in the light and see if they look good because if they look good in a uniform we might just leave it like that um, if not we'll, we'll completely blacken them out not bad for what like six dollars a can versus fifty dollars for new lights and i was still going to tint them not that bad now right here they were a little bit dirty and you couldn't they were like i guess just over time they turned but the bolts go there so we'll paint the uh, bolt heads black and you won't be able to see it all right so let's go ahead and take these out we gotta wipe them down just clean real good uh, oops fire web <laughs> just kidding uh, uh wipe them down uh because she did uh scotch brighter scotch brighter basically roughens it up a little bit makes the bed liner stick to them a little better because smooth surface usually eh, like I said. So um, I put one coat on it, and it is kind of smoked. I'm gonna put one more coat on. I think that's what we're gonna do, just a light coat, because um, we do another light coat. It kind of will match that, and I think that'd be too, that'd be really good. Plus, you'll be able to see the signal light. So. I think that'll be good. That should be good enough. And then we got this one right here. It smells like nail polish. It, it, it does have a, a potent odor to it. So what we're going to do is uh, we got to take the grill back off because the grill inserts has to be put on the inside, which is no biggie. Um, and then while we got the grill off, 
I'm gonna make Katie hold it the whole time. Just kidding. Uh, uh, we gotta fix this headlight. I actually got the bolts in there to actually like kind of make my own little bracket that I need. That way the light will be adjusted. We can adjust to how we need to. Um, then we can put the light bezel back in, and the grill will be completely done. Um, it'll have to all come back apart, you know, when we do uh, paint it. But like I said, it'll, it'll all come back apart anyways when we put a new motor and stuff in it, because I want all that gone. And you know, when we put a motor in it. We're going to put everything, you know, bare minimum what we have to, but we're going to put all new parts. I want to paint the whole entire engine bay. We're going to make it look really good. Like, I'm not going for a complete show truck, but I want when you pop the hood or something, you're like, golly, so a big old beautiful bald eagle flies out. Golly! <laughs> so it should sound. All right, let me go ahead and take this off. Let's see. I couldn't bolt this one up because... There, it's a dent, but we got all these, so I'm gonna go ahead and So I went ahead and fixed this. What broke was the adjustment screw uh, right there. So what I did was I put a bolt here, has a nut here, so this is tight there. Um, actually, and I drilled a hole right here and put another bolt there. So I can actually adjust these uh, by this and up here. But it seems pretty good right now. If I had to take it and adjust it again, um, I can actually just take the light out. I don't have to worry about taking the grill out. So it's pretty good. It's just it's not as easy to get to adjust as the stock one but it does work and it's actually a whole lot better than what the stock was so we should be good to go um what i'm going to do now is um select the grill uh actually i'm gonna put the uh inserts in the grill so let's do that All right, so uh, one of the things I did see that we, uh, I, I was like, what in the world? This grill did not come with the little inserts for, um, that's because the bumpers, I mean, dent right here, but um, did not come with the inserts. So I took them off my old grill. Thank goodness. Uh, it might have been in that bag, I mean, in the box. We might have overlooked it, but there wasn't on it. So, yeah. So I guess I'll just use these old ones and then air light will go just like this and over there that one's already together so that's kind of a look we're going for i just got to clean it off it's got the fingerprints all over it not into paint but just dirt and then we got the new grill and everything once i put the headlight bezels on should look really good should look a hundred times better i actually took a picture before i did all this so I'll, i'm going to put like a before and after uh, on my instagram so you'll see that all right, let's go ahead and bolt this on up. that's going to do it for today because the sun has gone down it's actually pretty chilly out here everybody keeps telling me they're freezing i think it feels good still rocking shorts but that's okay um 
But, it, you know, it, it is Valentine's Day, so me and Katie's going to go do something. Got got to keep the woman happy. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is, uh, I think it looks good. Now, next time we'll be doing, uh, well, not next time, but later on we do have to do uh, new uh, reverse, I mean, uh, we do have to fix the reverse lights. Uh, we got new sockets for tail lights. We we're going to uh, do the lens tint for the back tail lights when I buy some new ones. Kind of, I think if you, you know, like black out the lights and stuff, it kind of uh, modernizes it, you know, because they only have the old school tail lights for them. So we'll do that and we'll put the LED re uh, uh, tail light and reverse bulb in. Make it a little bit more modern. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you push that subscribe button. This is Ghost and the old first gen, and I'm out of here. Yeah.